welcome to this session i hope most of you would have gone through the recorded sessions also you can go to uh, learn.open.mentor.net and then you can see the recorded sessions i would like to show uh, how you can navigate through that okay just before that i would like to revisit what we have seen yesterday yesterday we went through the concepts what is a page or a form or a screen and then what are the elements within the page list box text box button radio button check box etc grid or rows and columns then always software acts as, acts on one principle you act system reacts the reaction may be displaying a message or going from one page to another page it can be but you need to act on the system someone has to act on the system then there will be some display on the screen or a sound or a visual change now software testing is you act system reacts whether the reaction is as per the specification given by the customer what the customer wants is a software behaving in the same way that is what is testing is all about and we talked about two aspects reservation systems lookup what is a lookup a name or an acronym and a description then what is a master data a uniquely identifiable data and then associated with some other data this is what we have seen yesterday then we wrote uh, masters and uh, lookups for the uh, banking system i also gave uh, um, an exercise uh, let me just stop my screen share uh, how many of you have done that exercise if you have done the exercise can you please raise the hands okay one okay will you be in a position to um, uh, copy paste that whatever you have written on the chat and then we will just i'll just go through that is it possible one person raise the hand suddenly the person with drew the hand also okay okay another person also raise the hand so if you can copy paste that into the chat i will also just see whether it is in the right direction or not can you do that give an exercise let us wait if the person is able to copy paste that or is leave it we you can you can do it during the session also not a problem okay that is fine but definitely do the exercises that is very very important today we are going to see a new topic two new topics okay let me go to the screen okay this is called today is 2nd of february 2023 thursday right yeah now what we are going to see is transactions transactions also uniquely identifiable will be a transaction id if you take the banking or uh, stores there will be a bill number that bill number is unique if you take railways reservation system that pnr number is unique deposit transaction id withdrawal transaction id it is all uniquely identifiable then associated data okay okay so what is the difference between a master and a transaction this is one thing both have unique values at the same time associated data so what is the difference the biggest difference is many one more than one master data will be referred in transaction txn is the short form of transaction what does that mean you go as a customer 
and you have an account number in the bank then you do a deposit deposit in a specific branch so what happens this deposit of 5000 rupees happened on this branch by this person on this account number because nagarajan as a single person i may have three accounts in the bank nagarajan is present in the customer master my data will be stored in the customer master my accounts are stored in accounts master then branch is stored in the branch master so what happens is master also can refer to other masters but typically the reference of a master with respect to look up is higher but not to the transactions transactions meaning first condition it will refer multiple masters remember this transactions will refer multiple masters if you do a atm withdrawal then you as a customer your card number is again a card master because your account number is different card number is different atm is different true and i may have a city union bank account but i may go to sbi atm still withdraw money so your parent bank your atm that atm number they are all referred in the transaction so and second condition one customer or branch or account will have only one record in the master okay whereas one customer or one branch or account can have more than one txm that is the important thing nagarajan may do 800 different deposits 500 different transactions so it is a one to many relationship one to many relationship this is another condition first condition transaction will refer to multiple masters because within the to say this is a transaction transaction in tamil kodukal vaangal it will have multiple masters second thing one customer or one employee may have multiple pay slips one student will have multiple mess bills one student will have multiple exam scores that exam score is a transaction but student is a master one college may have multiple students so college is a master one college will have different subjects subjects master will be there but students mark okay mark sheet will refer to student id subject code semester id marks right so each one is different and then this contains transactions is this understandable is this clear if this is clear these conditions are clear can you raise your hands very simple okay very simple good now let us do this what do we mean by transaction let me show you yesterday i showed you this material management software let me show you what is a transaction i log in then what i am going to do is i am going to i yesterday i created uom let me create a tax code gst cgst 1 gst 001 okay i'm just entering something now what i'm going to do is i am going to create an item what's an item yesterday i created 
uh, some items, right? What is the item that I created? Let me go to the last page. I can find that out. Mac 3 razor pack or hammam soap. Fine. Now what I'm going to do, I come back. Material request. And this one screen, my dear friends, this one screen, please remember. This one screen, definitely remember. Let me tell you why. I started my career in SR Gujarat, SR Information Technology. I was deputed to SR projects in Surat Hazira plant. That time, SR was spending 3000 crores way back in 1992. Okay. They were spending 3000 crores to create a steel factory. They were having steel one factory, they wanted to have steel two factory. I was part of creating the ERP for them. Any ERP, you will go, you will see lookups, masters, and manufacturing industry plans everywhere it is there. These concepts, material request, request for quotation, quotation, purchase order, good receipts, good inspections, good issues, stock, invoice. If you remember this screen and then understand the functionality, you know ERP. Okay. Please remember this screen. Every aspect is this is what I learned way back in 1992 in Gujarat. If you go to SAP, if you go to Oracle, if you go to Ramco ERP, you go to any ERP for that sake. This will be there. And if you if you don't believe me, any of your college seniors or any of your relatives who is working in an ERP, ask them. You will see vendor masters, item masters, location masters, customer master, material request. They will say yes, yes, yes for all these items. So please remember this. So this is what we want. People should know exactly how industry is using the software. Now I go to material request. Material request meaning what? You say a big factory. Anybody has visited a factory? Okay, let me first uh, check with them. I'm just stopping my screen share. Sorry, uh, video, uh, screen share, sorry. How many of you visited a factory? Cycle factory or a electronic factory or a car factory? Have you visited as part of your field visits? If so, please raise your hands. Okay, very few. What did you see in that factory? Some people really put thumbs down. That means they have not visited the factory. As an engineering student or any person who is coming to the college, you should visit the a factory. You must visit the factory. Only when you see how the factory operates, you will understand what industry is. Otherwise, the knowledge is because take it from me. I know as part of our second year and final year industry visits, we went to Mysore and Bangalore, we went to Delhi, we went only for sightseeing. I know, okay, that is how every college operates. I could remember uh, Nagarajan way back in 1991. That is a standard psychology. I honestly agree. Who will go to a factory? I don't know. I want to see Delhi, Agra, have some food, come back. But seeing a factory opens your eyes. What did you understand? The person, somebody said, I have visited a factory. What did you see? Let us take a car manufacturing factory, Hyundai factory, or Ford factory. Madras, Chennai has got a lot of car manufacturing, automobile manufacturing factories. Volvo, Hyundai, Ford, everybody is here. Whoever has visited a factory, can you type in what you have seen? Just first thing you will see materials or stores. Because if Hyundai has to manufacture a car, assemble a car, tire should come, door should come, door mat should come, steel should, wheel should come, steering should come, horn. All these things are parts. Remember our first, second class? Whenever you test, Parts must be there. Parts, 
parts will be stored in the respective in it is called the inventory now if you go to a tvs service factory a service center or abt maruti service center have you visited a bike service center you would have visited definitely it will be a small place but it will be a miniature of a not a big factory maybe a less a smaller one in that you would see parts will be there in one area when i have to replace my tires i need to request this division has to request because if you go to honda factory or ford factory it will be like one mile by one mile that big it will be like your anna university campus or nit campus big factory material will be stored in one place your assembly unit will be in some other place i will go to the system hey i need four tires same way if one way one nilgiri stores they are having a chain stores eh? spencers nilgiris more big bazaar they are all chain stores what they do is if one store is not having the material they will request i need this material one department will send a request it is called material request the first concept in erp is material request okay so let me show here material request i go just one second let the screen i am sharing my screen now it is taking a long time do you now know this is called the performance it is not coming very fast it is taking a long time look did you notice it the screen took a long time now under the location they will ask from salem i am requesting okay in salem from store number uh, let us say store 1 because salem itself may have multiple stores for that factory if you go to hosur ashok leyland plant is so huge within that they will have multiple stores because you cannot move all the material so quickly then contact them who is asking the material let me say uh ramanathan is asking the material and his phone number is 9812234 uh, something okay what is item you want okay we have added in the item master right we have added items in the item master all these items will be stored because in a factory cement itself may have multiple varieties nuts bolts welding rods nozzles in a car factory tire wheel what do you want do you want a jumper box recently in the storm in the cyclone a tree fell on my car the wiper box and the glass got broke and uh, glass they replaced it but the wiper box they were not having the material in whatever in stores so they have to ask from somewhere else the wiper box came so whatever item you have added for example gillet tracer i added in the other screen or hammam soap i added it is appearing here so i am saying hammam soap from salem ramanathan is asking the moment remember this i selected hammam soap let me select gillet soap what's this item name i select gillet tracer see the item name is fetched the unit of measurement is fetched now i go to hammam soap what's that field item name automatically got fetched so this is systems reaction i said i need hammam soap how much do you want what do you want i say i need 300 hammam soaps why went what time it is not like i am ordering i am just ordering get me now no in factories in all the plants you have to order you have to wait correct i would say i need this before 4th before 4th february i am ordering from salem store 1 my contact is this i need this item 300 quantity i submit a request okay uh, ddmmyy in numbers see something is wrong over here there is a mistake happening over here enter date d d m m y y it is correct only there is some issue okay but anyway if i go anything over here let it 
let me say uh, 1502 it is not allowing me to enter either suppose i select this and then add still it is giving me an error i think some error is there in this software so first thing as a concept you will go and then enter this information okay you will request i need this material this much is this concept clear this is the transaction there are so many uh, material request if you go here there are so many material requests i go to this edit edit this item and it says chennai bharat ordered this item and then now i say uh, i think there will be some error in this one if i say 200 and then add i think it adds edit is working fine add is not working fine so it is like this you need to request a material now what do you see here there is a concept called workflow okay workflow what is workflow this is nothing but a process what is a process action and data and sequence workflow meaning work is also moving across the forms data is also moving across the forms let me tell you this way uh, let me go here and then go to the screen once again we added let me go to unit of items okay under the item you see something here okay gold or something like this here gold is in kilogram item is gold okay now we added this item here now when i go the unit of measurement kilograms is added in this screen item gold is added in this screen okay now i go to material request just watch under material request i see the gold over here g should be somewhere before i it is sorted in alphabetical order yes g ah gold is right here when i select gold automatically that description i think somebody would have given description as wrong okay kilogram that unit of measurement comes data entered in one screen is appearing in another screen same way store master is right here somebody entered some store number it is here if i do a demo fresh okay there is a kilogram unit now i go to stores i am going to enter store code chn001 okay uh, anna salai address 123 anna salai city chennai i add chn001 as a store i add now i have already added kilogram i have already added gold as a vendor as a uh, uh, item now i go to material request okay I go to material request, location, again, let me say somebody entered Salem there. So I enter Salem. From this store, if you look at here, CHN, I have added CHN001, right? That appears here. The data you entered in one screen appears in another screen. What is the common thing? That screen stores the data in database. This screen fetches the data from the database. Now item code, I go here. Let us select gold, gold that comes over here. So the data you entered in one place, location is entered in one screen, store is entered in another screen, item is entered in another screen, but I consume all of these things in this transaction and then I add a new stuff. So the data moves from one place to another place. True. If you go to the railways reservation system, okay, you go to railways reservation system, train master is entered in one place, and then uh, coaches are entered in another screen. In this coach, what all the seats available, it is entered in, in another screen. Finally, you give, this is my requirement, it is allocated. 
so workflow meaning data moves from one place to another second thing data moves from user to user also how is it in bank you go and then um, apply for a demand draft you give the form to the teller teller enters in one screen that screen data is visible to the assistant manager assistant manager says this is correct then finally manager manager approves manager will log in using his or her login id assistant manager will log in using his or her login id same data your account number draft amount is 10000 favoring whom data is given by you from you it goes to teller teller enters that the same data is visible in another screen for assistant manager the same data is visible for another user so data moves from one form to another data moves from one user to another is this clear is this concept clear to you workflow and transactions i stopped my screen share if this concept is clear please raise your hands this is very important concept very simple concept now any doubts in this any doubts we we just saw two things remember we always do this micro learning short and small concepts every day move one step forward all we talked about today is transactions transactions what is the definition of transactions what is the example of a transaction you go to a store buy something get a bill that's a transaction you go to an atm you withdraw that's a transaction correct the bill may be from hotel the bill may be from petrol bank the bill may be from a store but every that everywhere there's a bill that's a transaction railways one ticket is a transaction We saw the second concept, workflow. Data moves from one screen to another screen. Clear? Good. Now, what I am going to do is, um, I think when I asked, please raise your hands. Not many people raise the hand. You raise the hand and then keep it up. Okay. After some time, you can bring it down because people raise and then bring it down. So I couldn't see that it just, the count doesn't go up. Good. I assume you understood, okay? Because at least a sample set of people have raised the hands. Other people also. There's no harm. So please raise the hands. Good. What I am going to do? Another concept. Third small concept you need to know. Then today, rest of the time is going to be practice. The practice is not writing. The practice is on exploration. Let me once again share my screen. exploratory testing what is exploratory testing you are given something what i am going to do is this url i am going to pass to you the materials request that screen i am going to give the url you know the password admin admin true you have to just go there i am not explaining anything Usually, it will be in a company, they will show a prototype of the product or they will just explain the screenshots of the product, maybe for half an hour or maybe for 10 minutes, maybe for one hour. It depends upon the size of the project. After that, you go and then explore. It is like you are given a new territory, new place. What will you do? Or just move around. And where is the hotel? Where is a good uh, hotel to eat? Where is a good hotel to stay? Is there a police? Is, is there a police station nearby? Is there a bank nearby? Is there a uh, sightseeing anything nearby? So you explore. Exploring meaning you may have idea or you may not have idea. You are given something. Out of self interest, go. Ninave Tedi Kandubudi. Okay. So we need to explore 
Columbus explored, got America. Right? Same way some people explored, they found Australia. So exploration, every scientist is exploring, right? That is why all these satellites are saying these uh, not satellites, these rockets are sent uh, out to the space. They are all explorers. While you are exploring, think of two things. Another concept. Positive test, negative test. What is positive test? Try to make it work. It is positive test. Try to take it. That is negative test. So another two concepts today. Exploratory testing, you may be given some simple explanation, but you need to just like that go find out by yourself, out of your own self-interest. A new app comes, what do you do? You do something, you find it out. You don't read help manual, you don't even ask many of your friends, maybe one or two friends you ask. But within half an hour, you find out what to do, what not to do. Same way. The first quality of every software engineer must be exploration. Do it by yourself. Okay. Do it by yourself. Don't expect help. Do it. Try. What is the big harm? Huh? One thing is easy in software. What is that? If it is food or any other industry, just like that, you cannot, if you are a doctor, if you are studying for doctor medicine, then you cannot just like that then do medicines, uh, prescribe medicine to somebody. Or you cannot do operation, just like that. It will harm. Whereas in software, you can free, worst come worst case, delete it. What happens? Nothing. So software is clean in that case. It will not create harm. What you do is within with your computer. It's not going to affect others. So exploration is a must for software engineers. In the exploratory testing, I just gave the soft, give the software. Apply just whatever your comes to your mind. You try every screen. You try to give input, save. Try to give input, modify. Try to give input, delete. Try to give input, view. Whatever you want to do, try. Absolutely no rules. No rules. Nobody is going to say, hey, this is right, this is wrong. Try. You will find something. Do it by yourself. No rules. Just true. You will find something. This is the method. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to go back to our uh, materials request. Let me back to main page. I will log out. Okay. I am going to pass on this link to your chat to all the people. Okay. To all the people. Admin is password. Admin is user ID. Okay. Somebody asked a doubt. Simply explain why need of a transaction. Yes. Without transaction, transactions are the ones which are governing every industry. If you are a bank, without deposit, without the transaction by the customer, you cannot do anything. If you are a store, you need to give a receipt. A transaction is give and take. That and loan, a give and take only is commerce. And record of that give and take is a transaction. Imagine you have a shop. You have a shop. So many customers come and then buy something and then go. You just give the material and then you just get the money. And you have no track record. At the end of the day, which item sold more, which item sold less, you will never have any control. Got it? So the need of the transaction is you give something or customer gives something, you take something and then you customer takes something. But record, I went to this ATM on this date and time and I withdrew and then I got this much of cash. 
that's a transaction if it is not recorded tomorrow i cannot get a transaction history i will not be able to file my tax returns every industry a give and take is a transaction that involves money or that involves material that involves service that must be recorded that record is a transaction without that nothing can be done okay <coughs> i asked you all to copy paste have you copy pasted this url the uh, user id password if yes please raise your hands super now what i am going to ask you today is go ahead explore this is your system this is your system you have to see whether which are all working and you do not know what is the functionality what is a full fledged feature i explain only three or four screens you explore find out what comes what to do see whether you are able to move around the system okay this is like going to the office for the first day very big campus uh, when i came to anna university for the first day it was so huge from entrance to cost hostel itself is 1 and 1/2 kilometers which department is where where is the mess where is the canteen all those things we have to explore no one told you in those days no, there is no sign boards also i'm talking about 1988 so exploration is you go find it by yourself the system is all yours go ahead figure out this tendency of self exploration self propulsion to do find out what is new what is there in it what is there in it that that curiosity is the essence of software engineers you need to have every engineer should have every every person in the world should have it but in software this is extremely important now another thing that i want to tell today is this upi statistics you all know upi right upi system is the one of the biggest success of india unified payments interface you can look at these many crores have been Uh, transacted right it's not that i don't think this number is uh, uh, 1282 this is very small number this this is not right i think last uh, statistics that they have pursued right it was uh, in in the whole of year 22 this is not this is like number of transactions 7000 uh, 4404 crore transactions but if you add the value of that right if you look at it it enabled every second some 2400 transactions are going on okay this is huge totaling 125 or 126 lakh crores total transactions are done imagine that we did not have upi if we did not have upi we should have used a sir master card or visa card transacted only through those cards now within the bank or we should have got only checks or we should go to the atm now person to person company to company even today all the tender coconut wala to street vendors to everywhere there is a paytm or a rupee or a phone pay or what or not and all go through upi so money transactions have been made so so easy and upi is also being trialed in many european countries i think a few countries also implemented also african countries are behind it because this is one of the robust transaction system money exchange from person to person from person to business from business to persons easiest way 
quickest way, safest way. So this is one of the biggest achievement in the financial sector that India has done. Okay. India, my Bharat is great. With that note, I will stop today's session. Okay. Today's task for you is, I have shared the URL. Using that URL, you need to use the user ID admin, A-D-M-I-N, password A-D-M-I-N. Same, all lowercase, small letters. Explore the system. Take the next 45 minutes, take five minutes break. We will not have another session today. Next to 45 minutes after a five minutes break, you explore. Take it from me, 45 minutes, sit in a single place, try, do that. You will see a change in you. Focus on one job. As I said, maybe two, two people. That is the best way. Rather than a single person, two people sitting in a laptop. Explore, explore, explore. You will do it much faster. You will learn much faster. Okay. So I have given the URL, I have given the user ID password, explore the system. Tomorrow morning, we will discuss what you have found out. Okay, You would have found out certain areas working. You would have found out certain areas not working. Okay, Without even knowing, you will, you will know, you will go through all the places so easily. This, every other system, we will be doing exercises like this. Okay. Today, we will not have the second session. Next, take five minutes break. After that, another 45 minutes, focus, sit, explore. Tomorrow morning, I would like a few people to come and present or say, just show what you found out. Okay, tomorrow morning, be ready with all the, what you have found out. You should be in a position to at least copy paste and uh, in the chat. Going forward, maybe after second week or third week, we will also give assignments to you so that you can submit the assignment electronically through our system. Since all the people are here, I just want to show this uh, screen where you can see the recordings. Okay. If you go to learn.openmentor.net, it will go to the home page like this. Okay. In the home page, if you click here, it will contract and expand. You could see all the things, analytical reasoning, and then full stack development upskill. So if I go and then click software testing upskill, I click on this. At the bottom, you will see this. At the bottom, you will see this. It will say week one. Under week one, I say eight videos. I click on these eight videos. The moment you click on this, it will tell. This is the sequence. First is one thing, then orientation video, then classes. All these things. Probably I will also put the date also here. That will also help. Okay. We talked about introduction to testing, TV remote control, five angles to test, review of the test, reservation form, forms, yesterday's data. Like this, today's video will come over here. So this is how you'll be able to see this. Okay. So you don't even have to log in. To view our recorded sessions, you don't have to log in at all. If you click on this, it will come here. You can play here, or you can, uh, once you play here, you can go to the YouTube also, make it as a big screen. Either way, it is fine. So, to view the recordings, you can all you need to do is go to learn.openmentor.net. You can just navigate around it. Okay. With that, I'll stop the screen share. I'll stop the recording.